In a world that is increasingly mapped, documented, and connected, the mysteries of the wilderness still have the power to captivate us, offering glimpses into the unknown and the unexplainable. For one father in Oregon, the mysteries took on a more personal and chilling turn when his son, an avid off-trail camper, claimed to capture photographic evidence of Bigfoot, the elusive, ape-like creature long believed to haunt the forests of North America. The father, who proudly shared his son's discovery, said he planned to send the photos to National Geographic. But within weeks, the story took an unsettling twist. The images mysteriously vanished from the son's computer, leaving the family with no proof of their extraordinary encounter and raising questions about what really happened. The son, whose name has not been publicly disclosed, had long been known for his adventurous spirit. Every year, he would embark on extended off-trail camping trips in the vast wilderness of Oregon, sometimes vanishing for months at a time. These journeys took him deep into areas untouched by humans, places where trails were non-existent and nature ruled without interference. According to his father, these excursions were more than just a hobby for his son. They were a way of life, an opportunity to disconnect from the modern world and immerse himself in the raw beauty of the wilderness. The father, proud of his son's independence and passion for exploration, would often tell friends and family about these long, solitary camping trips. The son had shared stories of wildlife encounters, stunning views, and the peace that comes from being alone in nature. But nothing prepared the father for what his son brought back from his most recent trip. According to the father, his son had spent several months camping deep in the forests of Oregon in 2021, as he did each year. But during this trip, something unusual happened. On one particularly foggy night, the son claimed to have seen something large and humanoid moving through the trees near his campsite. Initially, he thought it might be a bear or an elk, but as he watched, the figure moved in a way that no known animal should. It walked on two legs, standing upright, towering above the underbrush. The son quickly grabbed his camera, which he always carried with him to document the landscapes and wildlife he encountered. He managed to capture several photos of the creature before it disappeared into the dense forest. When he returned home, he showed the photos to his father, who was astonished by what he saw. The images showed a large, dark figure covered in hair, walking upright with a long stride, its body partially obscured by trees, but unmistakably bipedal. The son was convinced he had captured proof of Bigfoot. The father, initially skeptical, was soon swept up in the excitement. He believed that the photos could be the breakthrough evidence that researchers had long been searching for. With these images, his son might have documented one of the greatest mysteries of the natural world. Confident in the authenticity of the photos, the father decided that they should be shared with a wider audience. He made plans to send the images to National Geographic, believing the prestigious organization would take the discovery seriously and help bring attention to his son's find. But before the father could send the images to National Geographic, something strange happened. About a week or two after returning from his trip, the son discovered that the photographs were gone. Every image of Bigfoot, along with several other pictures taken during his time in the forest, had disappeared from his computer. It was as though the files had never existed. The father recounted how his son had searched through every folder on his computer, checked backup files, and even attempted to recover the lost data using specialized software. But the photos were simply gone, leaving no trace. Luckily, he had a backup of one of the images. The disappearance of the images raised a number of troubling questions. How could such a specific set of files simply vanish without explanation? For some, the disappearance of the images seemed almost too convenient, feeding into long-standing theories about government cover-ups surrounding Bigfoot. Over the years, there have been numerous reports of evidence related to Bigfoot, footprints, photographs, and even alleged physical remains, mysteriously vanishing or being confiscated by unknown authorities. Those who believe in such theories argue that certain agencies are actively suppressing proof of Bigfoot's existence, perhaps to protect uncharted wilderness areas or to prevent public panic. To these theorists, the fact that the Sun's computer was wiped clean of only the Bigfoot images was not a coincidence, but rather evidence of interference by outside forces. Others, however, suggested more mundane explanations. It's possible that the computer suffered from a technical glitch, or that the files were accidentally deleted or corrupted, 
Some even speculated that the sun, perhaps under the influence of the excitement or stress of the trip, might have misremembered taking the photos or exaggerated what he saw. Without the images, it was impossible to verify the claims, and the father's story quickly became a matter of personal belief. For the father and son, the loss of the Bigfoot photos was devastating. What should have been a moment of triumph and discovery instead turned into a frustrating mystery. The father, who had once been excited about sharing the photos with the world, was left questioning what had happened to the evidence that could have validated his son's experience. Despite the setback, the father remains convinced that his son encountered something extraordinary during his camping trip. The memory of the photos, even without the physical proof, continues to fuel their belief that Bigfoot may indeed be real and that the forests of Oregon hold secrets yet to be discovered. The deep silence of a forest trail at night is something many hikers, hunters and explorers know well. It's a place where the darkness consumes everything. The only sounds are the rustling of leaves or the distant calls of nocturnal animals, and the beam of a flashlight offers the only glimpse into the surrounding blackness. For one man, this familiar setting became the stage for a terrifying encounter with something that defied his understanding of the natural world. While walking alone on a dark trail in an undisclosed location, he claimed to have come face to face with a creature that many believed to be nothing more than a myth, Bigfoot. Armed only with his flashlight and his camera, the eyewitness captured a blurry but haunting photograph of the creature, its massive form illuminated in the stark light of the beam, adding yet another chapter to the legend of Bigfoot. The man, whose name has been withheld at his request, was an experienced outdoorsman. He had spent countless nights camping, hiking and exploring wilderness areas, always seeking solace in nature's quiet beauty. On this particular night, he had set out for a solo hike on a secluded trail deep in the forest. The trail, rarely travelled by others, was one he had walked many times before, its isolation a source of peace. The evening began uneventfully, with the familiar sounds of the forest accompanying his steps. As the night deepened, the trail became pitch dark, the thick canopy above blocking out even the faintest moonlight. The man carried a powerful flashlight, which he used to scan the trail ahead, casting its narrow beam into the shadows. It was during one such moment, when the flashlight swept across the dense trees on either side, that he saw something that froze him in his tracks. Off to the right of the trail, about fifty yards away, stood a massive figure, partially obscured by the thick brush. The man's initial thought was that it might be a bear, but the shape and posture were wrong. This figure was standing upright, with a broad, towering frame that seemed far too large to be human. Its sheer size and the fact that it was standing on two legs sent a wave of fear through him. His hands shaking, the man quickly aimed his flashlight directly at the figure. What he saw next would be etched into his memory forever. The beam of light illuminated a creature unlike anything he had ever seen before. It was covered in thick, dark hair, with powerful arms hanging by its sides and a massive, barrel-like chest. The creature's face, though partially hidden by the shadows and hair, was distinctly humanoid, yet with an almost ape-like quality. Its eyes reflected the light back in a strange, unsettling glow, piercing through the darkness. In that brief moment, the man was certain he was looking at something that defied all logic, a Bigfoot. Instinctively, the man reached for the camera he carried, though his fear nearly paralyzed him. As he fumbled with the camera, still holding the flashlight in one hand, the creature remained still, almost as if watching him, curious yet unthreatened. With trembling hands, he snapped a single photograph, capturing the creature in the flashlight's beam before it turned and disappeared into the darkness with astonishing speed. The photograph, later shared anonymously online, is blurry, as many Bigfoot images tend to be, but it clearly shows a large bipedal figure standing among the trees, bathed in the stark light of the flashlight. The details of the creature's face are difficult to discern, obscured by shadows and the hair that covers its body, but the figure's size and posture are unmistakable. The image sparked immediate debate, with believers pointing to its authenticity and skeptics claiming it could easily be a hoax or a case of misidentification. Following the encounter, the man sprinted back down the trail, his heart pounding, looking over his shoulder at every sound in the darkness. 
His mind raced as he tried to process what he had seen. Though he had always been skeptical of Bigfoot stories, that skepticism evaporated in an instant. He knew what he had seen, and it was no bear or human. The experience left him shaken, questioning his understanding of the wilderness he had always felt so comfortable in. Once he returned home, he reviewed the photograph. The image, while blurry, clearly showed a tall, upright figure, its bulk dwarfing the trees around it. The eyes, captured in the camera's flash, had an eerie reflective glow, further supporting his belief that this was no ordinary creature. While many urged him to release the photo to major media outlets, the man chose to remain anonymous, sharing the image only with a small community of cryptid enthusiasts who would take it seriously. Despite the photo's lack of clarity, the encounter sparked renewed interest in the possibility of Bigfoot's existence. As with all alleged Bigfoot sightings, the photograph and the man's story were met with both belief and skepticism. Those who support the existence of Bigfoot hailed the photo as one of the most compelling pieces of evidence yet, citing the eyewitness's detailed description and the sheer size of the figure in the photograph. The lighting and setting of the photograph, captured at night with the figure partially illuminated by a flashlight, gave it an eerie authenticity that was difficult to dismiss outright. However, skeptics pointed to the usual weaknesses of Bigfoot evidence, the photograph's blurriness, the lack of a clear face, and the fact that the encounter happened at night, making it difficult to accurately judge what the man had seen. Some suggested that the figure could have been a large person in a costume or simply a misidentified animal, such as a bear standing upright in the woods. Despite the ongoing debate, the man remained adamant about what he had seen. For him, the experience was undeniable proof that something unknown was lurking in the depths of the forest. The photograph, though imperfect, was his only link to the truth of that terrifying night. In 2021, a photograph taken at Shaver Lake, California, set the internet abuzz with speculation, reigniting debates surrounding one of the most enduring mysteries of modern cryptozoology, Bigfoot. The photo, taken by a hiker enjoying the scenic beauty of the Sierra National Forest, captured a large, humanoid figure in the distance that bore a striking resemblance to the legendary creature. Though the figure was blurry and indistinct, the proportions and posture seemed to align with typical descriptions of Bigfoot, leading some to believe that this might be a rare glimpse of the elusive creature. As with many such photos, however, skepticism soon followed, with critics citing the blurriness of the image and the lack of definitive evidence as reasons for caution. Nevertheless, the Shaver Lake Bigfoot sighting remains a point of fascination, contributing to the ever-growing body of law surrounding this mysterious being. In July 2021, a hiker, whose name has not been widely publicized, was trekking through the trails near Shaver Lake, a popular recreation spot located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. Known for its pristine water, stunning mountain views, and thickly wooded areas, Shaver Lake is a destination for outdoor enthusiasts looking to hike, fish, or camp. The area, surrounded by dense forests, is also a perfect setting for wildlife sightings, including deer, bears, and even mountain lions. However, on this particular hike, the witness saw something entirely unexpected. According to the hiker's account, they spotted movement in the trees at a distance of about 200 to 300 yards away. Initially, the figure appeared to be another hiker, or perhaps a large animal, but its size and the way it moved quickly raised doubts. Standing upright and walking in a distinctly bipedal manner, the figure was much taller and broader than any human or animal typically found in the region. With their curiosity piqued, the hiker snapped a photo of the figure before it disappeared behind the trees. Upon reviewing the image, the hiker realized that what they had captured was a large, blurry, dark figure that bore a remarkable resemblance to the legendary Bigfoot. The photograph quickly gained attention after the hiker shared it online, posting it to various social media platforms and cryptid forums. In the photo, the figure is difficult to make out in precise detail due to the distance and the movement, resulting in a typically blurry image. However, the shape and size of the figure seem to suggest a humanoid form standing taller than an average person with long arms and a broad torso. The photo's blurriness, while frustrating to those hoping for clear evidence, 
is part of what makes it so intriguing. As with many alleged Bigfoot sightings, the blurry image leaves just enough ambiguity to keep the debate alive. The Shaver Lake sighting is not unique in its presentation. One of the most persistent characteristics of Bigfoot sightings is the blurry, often unclear nature of the photographic evidence. Over the years, Hundreds of photos and videos purportedly showing Bigfoot have surfaced, yet the vast majority are similarly blurry, distant or indistinct. This trend has become so common that it has even sparked the term blob squatch, referring to the blob-like appearance of supposed Bigfoot figures in unclear images. The Shaver Lake photo fits neatly into this pattern, leading many to question why, in an era of advanced technology and high-resolution cameras, clear evidence of Bigfoot remains elusive. Skeptics argue that the blurriness is one of the primary reasons to doubt the authenticity of the Shaver Lake photo, suggesting that such images could easily be the result of misidentification or even deliberate hoaxes. They point out that a blurry photo from such a distance could be anything. A hiker wearing dark clothing, a bear standing on its hind legs, or even a large tree or stump. Without clearer details, skeptics contend, it's impossible to definitively say that the figure in the photograph is Bigfoot or any other creature. However, those who believe in the existence of Bigfoot offer alternative explanations for the prevalence of blurry photos. Some suggest that Bigfoot is an exceptionally elusive creature, moving quickly and deliberately to avoid human detection. According to this view, the blurry photos are not evidence of hoaxes, but rather a reflection of the difficulty in capturing a fast-moving, intelligent being in the wild. Others go further, suggesting that Bigfoot may possess qualities that interfere with photographic equipment, perhaps due to some form of electromagnetic interference or even supernatural abilities. While these theories are highly speculative, they reflect the frustration of those who believe that Bigfoot exists but remains frustratingly out of reach in terms of concrete evidence. Despite the ongoing controversy, the Shaver Lake Bigfoot sighting has continued to capture the public's imagination. The Sierra Nevada region has long been a hotspot for Bigfoot sightings, with many reports dating back decades. Local Native American legends also tell of large, hairy, human-like creatures inhabiting the forests, adding a layer of cultural history to the modern Bigfoot phenomenon. For residents and visitors to the area, the idea that such a creature could still roam the dense forests adds a sense of mystery and wonder to the already stunning landscape. The sighting also speaks to a broader fascination with the unknown, particularly in relation to cryptids like Bigfoot. Even in the age of smartphones, satellite imaging and modern science, there is something compelling about the possibility that undiscovered creatures still exist in the remote corners of the world. Bigfoot, in particular, represents a kind of natural mystery that resists easy explanation. Whether viewed as a relic of humanity's evolutionary past, a creature from another dimension, or simply a misidentified animal, Bigfoot remains a symbol of the unknown reminding us that there are still mysteries left to explore. In the dense, wooded landscapes of North America, reports of mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows have fascinated and frightened explorers, researchers, and outdoor enthusiasts for generations. Chief among these cryptic figures is Bigfoot, a massive, ape-like humanoid said to roam the forests, particularly in the Pacific Northwest. Despite countless claims of sightings, Hard evidence of Bigfoot's existence has remained elusive, often frustrating those seeking proof. However, in a recent development, a trail camera captured a striking image of what many believe could be a Bigfoot, a large, tall and hairy humanoid figure. The photo has drawn significant attention, not just because of its content, but also because the creature's face is obscured by an overwhelming amount of hair, leaving just enough ambiguity to stir debate while fueling belief in the creature's existence. The photograph in question was captured by a motion-activated trail camera set up deep in the woods. Trail cameras are commonly used by hunters and wildlife enthusiasts to track animal movements, providing glimpses into the behavior of deer, bears, and other creatures in their natural habitats. However, these cameras sometimes capture unexpected and unexplained phenomena. In this case, the image depicts a towering, broad-shouldered humanoid figure covered in thick, dark hair. The creature's head, neck and upper torso dominate the frame, filling the photograph with an imposing presence that appears distinctly non-human. What makes the photo particularly interesting is that the creature's face is not visible. It seems to be entirely covered by long, matted hair, 
which hangs down like a curtain across its face. The thick hair makes it impossible to discern any facial features such as eyes, a nose, or a mouth. The only things that can be clearly observed are the figure's size, its muscular build, and the unmistakable human-like proportions. The arms, though partially obscured, appear long and powerful, hanging low beside its massive torso. The legs are outside the frame, but the upper body suggests a creature of immense height and strength. The lack of visible facial features has been a point of interest in discussions about the photograph. Unlike other alleged Bigfoot sightings where witnesses claim to have seen the creature's face or expression, this image presents a creature that appears intentionally or naturally hidden by its own physical characteristics. Some argue that this adds credibility to the idea that Bigfoot is a wild, elusive animal adept at avoiding human detection. Others believe that the obscured face raises suspicions about the authenticity of the image, suggesting that the hairy figure could be an elaborate costume designed to spark excitement or confusion. The absence of a discernible face in the trail camera photo makes identification even more difficult, amplifying the mystery surrounding the creature. In most sightings and supposed Bigfoot photographs, the face, or at least partial facial features, can be observed. These features are typically described as a mix between human and ape, with deep-set eyes, a wide nose, and a strong, pronounced brow ridge. The lack of such details in this photograph makes it harder to compare to past reports or to definitively state whether the creature is, in fact, Bigfoot or something else entirely. For skeptics, the inability to see the creature's face is a significant point of doubt. Without facial features, they argue, it is nearly impossible to determine whether the figure in the photograph is a real creature or simply a person in a costume. The trail camera's proximity to the figure adds to the controversy. While the image captures the figure's size and fur in great detail, the lack of a clear face feels to some like an intentional omission. Critics suggest that if this were an authentic sighting, there would be more discernible features to analyze and identify. On the other hand, believers in the Bigfoot phenomenon point out that the heavy covering of hair could be consistent with descriptions of the creature. According to many eyewitness accounts, Bigfoot is known for its thick, shaggy hair, which is often described as unkempt and long enough to obscure its face or body. Some have suggested that Bigfoot's hair could serve as a form of camouflage, allowing it to blend into its environment and avoid detection. In this case, the long hair obscuring the face could be a natural feature of the creature, not evidence of a hoax. Moreover, the ambiguity of the face adds to the allure of the photograph, keeping the mystery of Bigfoot alive by not providing all the answers in a single image. As with many supposed Bigfoot sightings and photographs, the trail camera image has sparked intense debate within both the cryptozoology community and the general public. Some see the photograph as compelling evidence of Bigfoot's existence, particularly given the figure's size, posture and appearance. The image stands apart from many other blurry or distant photos because of the level of detail in the hair and body structure, despite the lack of facial features. Proponents of the Bigfoot theory argue that this could be the closest photographic evidence yet and that the obscured face is simply part of the creature's natural appearance. Skeptics, however, remain unconvinced. The photograph's lack of facial detail, combined with the creature's resemblance to what could easily be a person in a costume, leads many to question the photo's authenticity. Without more evidence, such as additional photos, video footage or physical evidence like hair samples or footprints, Critics argue that it is impossible to confirm that the figure in the image is Bigfoot. To them, this is just another case of a blurry, ambiguous image that fuels the myth rather than providing real answers. The photograph, like so many others before it, taps into the deep cultural fascination with Bigfoot. Part of what makes Bigfoot so captivating is the creature's elusiveness. It exists at the fringes of human perception, always seen but never fully caught. The trail camera image, with its tantalizing detail and frustrating obscurity, embodies this mystery perfectly. It offers just enough evidence to spark belief, while leaving enough ambiguity to sustain doubt. In many ways, this is what has allowed the Bigfoot legend to persist for so long. The combination of compelling stories, partial evidence, and the enduring sense of the unknown. In the vast, untamed wilderness of California's forests, a hiker had a chance encounter that would leave him questioning what he had witnessed. The man, whose name remains undisclosed for privacy reasons, 
was hiking alone in the remote woods of Northern California, an area known for its dense forests, steep terrain, and vast stretches of wilderness where few venture. While the hike began as a routine adventure, it soon turned into a moment of shock and intrigue when he spotted a large bipedal figure moving through the trees in the distance. Reacting quickly, he grabbed his camera and captured what he believed to be a photo of Bigfoot, a creature steeped in North American folklore. However, because the figure was quite far away, the resulting image was blurry, leaving much to the imagination and sparking a debate about what the hiker had actually seen. The story of this particular Bigfoot sighting begins on a late afternoon in the summer of 2021, when the hiker decided to explore a relatively isolated trail in Northern California. With the sun starting to dip below the horizon, the forest was cast in long shadows, creating an eerie, peaceful atmosphere. The hiker had wandered off the beaten path, exploring a quiet area where he hoped to capture photographs of the natural beauty around him. Equipped with a camera, he had already taken several pictures of towering redwoods, moss-covered rocks, and the occasional deer that darted through the underbrush. As he ascended a ridge overlooking a valley thick with pine trees, the hiker suddenly noticed movement far below. Squinting into the distance, he saw what appeared to be a large, upright figure walking through the forest. At first, he assumed it might be a bear standing on its hind legs, common in these parts, but something about the figure seemed off. It was too tall, too human-like in its gait, and it moved with a purpose that didn't match the behavior of any wildlife he had encountered. Reacting quickly, the hiker pulled out his camera and zoomed in as far as the lens would allow, snapping several photos in rapid succession before the figure disappeared into the thick underbrush. By the time he had taken the pictures, the figure was already quite far away, partially obscured by the trees and distance. The moment passed quickly, leaving the hiker standing in stunned silence, unsure of what he had just witnessed. Once he returned from his hike, the man eagerly reviewed the photos he had taken, hoping to confirm what his eyes had seen. What he found was a series of images that captured the distant figure, large, dark, and humanoid, but unfortunately blurry. The figure was far enough away that the details were indistinct, leaving it as a shadowy, elongated shape moving through the trees. Though the images lacked clarity, the proportions of the figure seemed to be in line with descriptions of Bigfoot, tall, broad-shouldered, and walking upright in a manner distinctly different from the local wildlife. In one of the photos, the figure appeared to be hunched slightly, as though moving swiftly through the forest, its long arms swinging by its sides. The hiker noted that, despite the distance, the figure seemed far larger than a human, and its dark, fur-covered body stood out starkly against the green backdrop of the forest. The hiker was convinced that what he had seen was no bear or ordinary animal. It was something much stranger, something that fit the description of Bigfoot, the elusive creature that had been the subject of so many legends and sightings in the Pacific Northwest. The hiker's blurry photograph of what appeared to be a Bigfoot quickly drew attention after he posted it online. Shared across social media and cryptid forums, the image sparked intense debate. Believers in Bigfoot were quick to point out that the figure's shape, size and posture were consistent with other reported sightings of the creature. The photos, they argued, were compelling evidence that Bigfoot might indeed exist in the remote forests of California, far from the eyes of humans. However, as with most Bigfoot-related evidence, skeptics were equally vocal in their doubts. The blurry quality of the photograph, they argued, made it impossible to definitively identify the figure. To them, it could easily have been a hiker in dark clothing or an animal moving in an unusual way, distorted by distance and the limitations of the camera's zoom. Blurry images of Bigfoot have become almost synonymous with such sightings, leading critics to dismiss the photo as yet another case of mistaken identity or wishful thinking. Despite the criticism, the hiker stood by his claim, stating that what he saw with his own eyes was far more convincing than what the photo revealed. He described how the figure moved with a purposeful stride, unlike any animal he had ever seen, and how the sheer size and shape of the figure left him certain that it was not human. Though the photograph might not provide the clarity needed to sway everyone, the experience left the hiker deeply convinced that he had encountered something extraordinary. The hiker's blurry image joins a long tradition of similar photographs that have fueled the Bigfoot phenomenon for decades. 
One of the persistent frustrations among Bigfoot enthusiasts and researchers is the consistent lack of clear, definitive evidence. There are various explanations for this, ranging from the technical, such as the difficulty of photographing something quickly in a dense, shadowy forest from a great distance, to the more speculative. Some Bigfoot believers suggest that the creature is highly intelligent, capable of avoiding detection, or even has supernatural qualities that make it difficult to capture on camera. Others argue that the forest environment, with its play of light and shadow, makes it challenging to get a clear picture of anything, much less a moving creature at a great distance. In the realm of cryptozoology, few creatures inspire as much fascination and debate as Bigfoot, the elusive ape-like being that is said to roam the forests of North America. For decades, reports of Bigfoot sightings have been accompanied by blurry photographs, shaky video footage, and vague eyewitness accounts, none of which have offered definitive proof of the creature's existence. However, in a recent turn of events, a trail camera deep in the woods allegedly captured a close-up image of what some claim to be Bigfoot. The photograph, showing unprecedented clarity of the creature's face, nose and hair, has reignited the debate about whether Bigfoot is a myth or a real, undiscovered species. While some view the image as a breakthrough in the search for Bigfoot, others remain deeply skeptical, believing it to be either a clever hoax or a case of misidentification. The photograph in question was taken in a remote forested area where trail cameras are often used by hunters and researchers to monitor wildlife. These motion-activated cameras are designed to capture images of animals passing through, providing a glimpse into the habits of deer, bears, and other forest creatures. In this case, however, the camera captured something entirely unexpected. A tall, bipedal figure with human-like facial features, a wide nose, and a body covered in dark, thick hair. The image is striking not only for the detail it shows, but for how close the creature appears to be to the camera. Unlike the grainy, distant photographs that have characterized previous Bigfoot sightings, this image is clear enough to make out distinct facial characteristics, including the structure of the nose, the texture of the skin, and the strands of hair around the face. The close-up nature of the photograph has sent shockwaves through the Bigfoot research community, with some declaring it the most compelling evidence ever captured of the creature's existence. The clarity of the image, they argue, makes it difficult to dismiss as a trick of light or a misidentified animal, such as a bear. The face in the photograph appears to possess both human and ape-like qualities, with a flat, wide nose and deep-set eyes that suggest an intelligence behind them. The hair covering the creature's face and body is thick and unkempt, with an uneven texture that resembles both fur and coarse human hair. These details, proponents say, align with descriptions of Bigfoot from eyewitness accounts that have emerged over the years, adding credibility to the photograph. However, the very clarity of the image has also fueled controversy and skepticism. In the world of Bigfoot research, one of the long-standing critiques has been the lack of clear, reliable evidence, something that believers have often lamented. But when such a detailed photograph suddenly appears, it paradoxically triggers suspicion rather than validation. Skeptics argue that the photograph may be too clear, raising questions about its authenticity. To them, the image's unusually close proximity and high resolution suggest that it could easily have been staged using a costume, mask, or other fabricated materials. After all, in an era of advanced digital technology, it is not difficult to manipulate or create such images. The possibility of a hoax is one that many skeptics point to, citing past instances where Bigfoot photographs or videos were later revealed to be fraudulent. Throughout the history of Bigfoot lore, there have been numerous cases where individuals admitted to faking footprints, creating costumes, or fabricating encounters in order to gain attention or money. With this history in mind, skeptics view the new image with caution, questioning the motives behind its release and scrutinizing the authenticity of the photograph. Further complicating the issue, is the lack of context surrounding the photograph. While the trail camera captured a clear image, there is no accompanying video or other photographs to provide additional angles or movement of the creature. This has led some experts to question whether the single image can truly be considered conclusive evidence. Without a series of photographs showing the creature moving or interacting with its environment, it becomes more challenging to rule out the possibility that it is simply a staged figure placed in front of the camera. 
Critics argue that without more context, it is impossible to determine whether the creature is truly what it appears to be or if it is an elaborate fabrication. The scientific community has largely remained cautious, with biologists and zoologists calling for more concrete evidence before drawing any conclusions. To date, there has been no verifiable biological evidence of Bigfoot, such as hair samples, bones or DNA, despite numerous searches and expeditions aimed at uncovering proof. The clear photograph, while intriguing, does not provide the physical evidence that scientists typically rely on to confirm the existence of a new species. Without such evidence, many in the scientific community remain skeptical, arguing that extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof and that a single photograph, no matter how detailed, is not enough to validate the existence of a creature as elusive and controversial as Bigfoot. On the other hand, believers in the Bigfoot phenomenon see the photograph as a significant step forward in their quest for recognition. To them, the image represents a rare and valuable glimpse into a creature that has long evaded human detection. The clarity of the face, nose and hair is seen as a breakthrough, offering a level of detail that few other pieces of evidence have provided. For these individuals, the photograph is a tantalizing piece of the puzzle, one that brings them closer to proving that Bigfoot is not a myth, but a real creature living in the wilderness.